What's up, Duelists? This weekend is the NAWCQ, a.k.a. Yu-Gi-Oh! National Championships for the North America region, which is super hype. I think it's going to be a pretty big turnout for Edison players. Last year, there was about 300 Edison players, so possibly the biggest or second biggest Edison tournament of the year. If I was going and I was playing a Lightsworn deck, I think this is the list that I would be playing, give or take one or maybe two changes. This is a list that I tested recently with um, my testing partner, Nate, who was on my team at YCS Vegas for the main event, and I found it to be very strong. The biggest changes from like the Christia Sworn list that you've seen recently is that we've got five draw traps in the main. I think this deck excels at making use of these cards because um, surprisingly this deck is annoyed by back row removal quite a bit and being able to bait that early on by like bluffing a beckoning light and also being able to rip into one of your mini hand traps and turn through your deck to find your solar recharges has been um, above and beyond exceptional. I definitely think this is one of the decks that can take the most advantage of playing draw traps. Um, weirdly enough, even though they're not great mills, even though they do dilute your mills to play more uh, spells and traps, just being able to make sure you see solar recharge consistently enough is uh, more, it matters more than like milling an extra Shire or some like garbage third copy of a Light's Horn that you didn't really want to have to fit in your deck and brick on, basically. It also bluffs defense, it helps you um, protect your beckoning and your Call of the Haunted, that sort of thing. The one thing, the one change that I think I might make is the um, Call of the Haunted might become the third Christian in the main. I'm not really sold on the Call of the Haunted yet, but um, I haven't had it come up one way or the other. I just think that having three Christie in the main is is pretty important. Uh, but yeah, we've got to we've got all the stuff that you need the bare minimum of. And then in the sideboard, we've got some cards that I think are really good for the Nats metagame. I think Consecrated Light is going to be one of the best cards for Nats because Black Rings is going to be the most popular deck, hands down. It just won the last like two or three RBETs, not counting uh, Dragon Turbo, which I also think is going to be very popular at Nats. And that's why I have two Fossil Dinos. I think this card is really good against Dragon Turbo. Um, just having Dyna plus Decree or like Dyna plus Mirror Force or Solemn or Dust Shoot. Solemn and Dust Shoot also there for Dragon Turbo matchup. Um, goes a long way. Dyna also really good versus Hero Frogs and Amaryllis, which are decks that have been more popular at the Ultimate Time Wizard events than they have been online. So um, Dyna just really lifting its weight in this deck. And I played against uh, Swagger recently and he was playing Light Swarm with Dynas in the side. And every game, he just beat me with the Dinas in the side, and I was so mad. Because <laughs> it's like, it's an annoying card. You can't book it. You can't bottomless it. Um, it's just really difficult to deal with. And there's lots of ways to kind of, like, put your opponent low on cards with, like, Celestia, Lila, Raikou, and then just stick a Dyna. It can be really difficult to out. Uh, Lightning Vortex, this is a favorite card of one of the strongest players that I know, Jacob Fonseca. And I think that this card is exceptional in this deck as well. It gives you the opportunity to put a fairy or a light sworn name in your grave while also outing your opponent's Dinas, Vanities, Fiends, Christias, that sort of thing. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just like outs for Light Mirror, which is what this deck loses to. So Decree, Double Ty or Decree Typhoon, Book, etc. I mean, Book doesn't out Light Mirror, but you get the vibes. All right, let's just let's just hop into things. We got an eight man tournament. You you know what we do? You know what we do on this channel? We play it in a tournament against the strongest players in the Discord. That's how we do it, and our opponent. Round one is Frogman one two three. So if you look, have fun. I like his avatar. I think it's like the Ad Emancipator Dragon. I don't know why I know that, but I also like his sleeves too. The Lightning Storm sleeves look really hard. All right, looks like we get to go first too, which is always nice. Uh, get the draw trap set or get our mills going as soon as possible. See what the hand looks like. Um, yeah, this is really good. We open Solar Recharge, so. We're going to do it, and we're going to pitch Gareth in case we draw Illumina. So, yeah. L2. Very nice. We could go for a Card Trooper. We could go for Lila. Um, <coughs> I like Card Trooper a little more. It does it does a little bit more for us here. Let's mill three, because it draws us a card. I think the drawing of the card matters a lot. We have two fairies down. The Herald will get us to a third and fourth fairy, and then our Crystal will be live, and Lila can break for it. So, pretty happy about that. All right, we're going to gain a thousand. I wonder if he's playing frogs. He might be, but maybe not. Upstart Goblin is not something you commonly see in frogs. 
Unless they're playing like future fusion stuff too. Could be though, it could be like Frog Hero. Uh, I'll herald that. Nope. I'll absolutely herald that. Now I have four fairies. I'm gonna summon Christia, get my herald back. and He's probably just gonna lose, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of nice. All right, sets back row passes. Draw for turn is Jar of Greed. Cool. Let's go special Christia. Activate effect. Target honest, I guess. Our Herald is probably better. Cool. Grab the Herald. I don't want to mill fairies. I guess I can mill one, because if I mill one fairy, it's pretty good. But if he mirror forces me... Yeah, I guess we mill one. So I mill one. It is a fairy. That's hilarious. Oh, not 1900. 900. There we go. Battle phase. Attack for nine. And... Attack for 28. Maybe he has a wind blast for Geki Break, whatever, but... I'm just going to draw it again next turn, so... Whatever. Pass turn. I don't know what he's playing still. He could be on, like, Diva Hero or something, but... Set monster or set back row. Interesting. All right. Well, we don't want to mill more with this guy, but we do want to keep pressuring. Let's try and draw into something off Jar of Greed. Actually, I don't know. Let's just attack. I don't know what we draw into that we really care about. Reptilian Naga. Okay. That makes our monsters attack zero. Interesting card. During your end phase, change this card to face-up defense position to face-up attack position. Okay. Um, not what I was expecting at all. Hero, reptile. I mean, he still can't Vasky us, which is nice. I think we just pass. I don't think there's really any reason to do anything. We'll make him do something, and then we can... Get our Christia back, and then I probably should have switched the uh, card trooper to defense, but whatever. We're at 9,000. How much damage could he truly deal? I just don't think we can lose this game, because his deck isn't real. And eventually we're going to find JD, and then we just win. So, that's cool. There's Alias. Okay. Switch to attack. All right. Does this crash in Edison format? I don't know. I don't know if it, if zero zero crashes in Edison format. I think it does. I think it does, but I don't really know. We're gonna take damage that we didn't need to take. That's pretty stupid on my part, but killing the card trooper first so we can draw a card is nice. Do they crash in Edison? I don't even know. I've, I've never had this come up. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Sick. Alright, well we can just summon Christy again. Like, good stuff. Unless he has Royal Oppression, then we just win. He might have Bottomless, which would be annoying. We could bait it with Lila. Yeah, let's go with Lila first. I think that that makes more sense. He's big thinking here. Yeah, he might need to bottomless this. Otherwise, he loses his bottomless. All right, let's target the first set. I don't know what this is going to be. Scapegoat. What the fuck? All right. Uh, I think Christia add back Honest is the best bet. Or it could be Christia add back Celestia to get the solar recharge alive. Either way, it doesn't really fucking mm -hmm. matter. I think I'm going to go with Celestia. We're just up so many cards here. This is kind of crazy. Battle phase. Attack the Neos alias. He's going to offerings. Mm -hmm. He's going to target the back row. I'm going to chain the jar. 
Oh my god, my phone is blowing up. Give me a second, guys. I gotta mute this shit. I gotta mute this shit. All right, we're back. Um, Christia goes to the top of the deck. We are now gonna mill it with Lila, which is kind of funny because then we can just call the haunted it. <laughs> Actually, we could just draw it, can't we? Yeah, as long as we don't mill a fairy, we can draw Christia and then play it. Might mill a fairy though. We play a lot. I think it's worth doing because if we don't, like, we just win. Oh my God, I'm him. <laughs> That's why we got it back, folks. That's why we got back Celestia. Activate Christia. Add back Honest. And then this might be the game. I gotta I just don't see how he wins. Um, set call. And then M phase mill three. And we milled Necro. And we didn't even mill a fairy, so yeah, no, we just win. Like he can't be he can't beat us. Like Blur Darkness, sure. Go off. We're cutting off all special summons, which is really nice. Uh, like that card can't even be summoned. Quick draw, dandy, any of those cards are just useless. He's gonna kill the Lila, which is totally fine. That's just um kind of chill for us. I might even just like blow the honest to deal damage here, because I just don't care and I'm beckoning, so. Arcus. Light Sworn Druid. If that's another Naga, it's annoying. I wonder if I should blow the Honest to deal damage here. Uh, I don't think so. I think we can just attack the fucking Neos Alias. Yeah, take our plus. Pass, I guess. The reason why I think like attacking the thing and using Honest is nice is it means he can no longer crash Reptilian Naga. That's annoying draw, but whatever. I guess it's just normal Arcus attack with Arcus. Dandy attack for twenty eight. Cool. M phase mill two. Still no fairies milled. Kind of wild. We have Necro, we have Honest, we have Herald. It just doesn't fucking matter. Whatever. Yeah, take a view and then concede. The draw traps are so good. You saw how good it was that game. It was just a chainable draw one. Forced his stupid um thing to not target our Lila. We were able to mill three. See the Necro Garden. I don't know. It was just really strong in his deck. I don't think people... Uh, understand how important it is to just see solar recharge and have it be live anyway um moving on next game i think a lot of people would have fucked that game up by solar recharge pitching the lila at some point yeah but not me i'm different all right um i don't really think his deck is real so i don't even know what to decide i'm gonna be honest with y'all dyna seems okay vortex seems okay Christia seems like pretty solid. Aaron seems like it's gonna be an MVP here. I don't really know what he's got though. Like, I just don't really care about his deck. <laughs> I don't know what he sides for us even. Like Light Mirror maybe? Didn't he have Rikos and shit? He's playing heroes alongside the Reptilians. What are the heroes at? Future Fusion? Miracle Fusion? The, mon the Reptilian monsters are dark. So like, what is the point there? I wonder if you can special Reptilian Naga by sending Consecrated Light, probably not, but I don't know. Edison is weird with this card. Um, I don't know, man. I think Vortex is does look good. I don't think I care about his back row, so I'm gonna cut Cold Wave. Um, should Cold Wave for Vortex, whatever. Can't be that crazy, right? Just run it back. That's the nice thing about this deck is like it makes sideboarding super easy too so if you're like going to like a tournament it's like you just sideboard the cards that are good in certain matchups and then you just don't sideboard otherwise the wolf could also be a christia i found it to be kind of like mediocre but i just have it in there because it's fun I'm not really sure arcus seems great Let's just go arcus attack yes i have mirror force or else he's taking 12 or scapegoat i guess 
Cool. Oh, he probably has the heroes to get plasma. That's what it is. There's no reason to set beckoning light right now, so we'll just L2. His sideboard hate probably involves grave hate, which is actually kind of nice because our hand seems pretty resilient to grave hate. Anything before calc. Already in calc. Question mark. Because he is turn player. He's honest. He's going to take another 12. Next turn we can summon Gareth. We can just keep attacking. Get the Gareth effects. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be very nice. Jar of Greed is great too. Summon Gareth. You got Tarantula. You got, what do you got? Bottomless, something like that. Yep. Oh well. Battle phase. Hit for 12. He's going to go for scapegoats now. Okay, so we can hit one of these. He can still plasma us, which is annoying, but whatever. Set jar. Set beckoning, probably. Yeah, set jar, set beckoning, and phase mill too. Oh my god, good thing I set the beckoning. I'm him. I'm super him right now. This Arcus is going crazy with it. He's going crazy with it. Set so much back row. What is his back row? Uh, is there any reason to beckoning now? Yeah, solemn judgment, I guess. There's a reason. Whatever. Oh my god, what a fucking draw, dude. You better solemn this lesser. That is such an insane draw. Dude, this deck is so consistent, it's crazy. Alright, Celestia. Uh, Solemn. Solemn, okay. Targets are two back row. Mill four for cost. Oh my gosh. You're gonna chain light mirror. Cool, all right, so he does have light mirrors. I guess that makes sense. So we have five fairies in the grave. If we add back Christia JD, then we can summon the Christia, I guess. So let's see his cost, right? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go for a jar of greed first. Question mark. All right. Have storm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Let's set that. Then activate Beckoning Light. He may Solemn this, or he may not Solemn this, because um, he thinks he's safe or some shit, but we get a Heavy Storm and then uh, JD, Christia, him, and then it's game. So, yeah, I believe we have four names, right? Yeah, we do. Yep. Good shit. So, that's why you play the draw traps. They draw into your power spells, and you just win like that go um so go christian uh, hold up if we jd blow up then we don't have four fairies that's ugly hmm i'm noticing a problem here christia first no, we can't christia first we just go jd christia and just attack him who cares special jd special christia Add back, fucking honest. Battle phase, uh, all three tokens. And phase mill four. Next turn. All right, that is awkward. That Celestia is a fairy and it was in play, but I don't think it'll matter that much. I just don't see how he beats this. Lightning vortex maybe. Cool. Set, 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 set. Draw Raiko. That's pretty cool, I guess. That was a JD effect. I don't think it matters that much. Chain Light Mirror? Sure. Alright. Battle phase. Celestia is the worst one, so we'll attack the sets with it. It's gonna be Debris Dragon. Christia is also not great, so I'll attack the set with Christia. And, uh,. 
he's gonna get a reptilian search for Naga. Okay, attack for 3,000. No reason to set the Raikou. He has Light Mirror and we might draw Solar Recharge, so just pass. We actually don't have another out to Light Mirror in the deck besides Plague, but who cares? We have like three huge monsters and he's just forced to make bad plays into it, so. What are you gonna do? Set Naga, Rota for Stratos, like whatever. Can't special summon. I just blow up the field. If I, I guess I can't blow up the field, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, battle phase, Celestia attacks. Cool, monster goes to zero. End phase two, end phase. We don't mill because of the light mirror. Light mirror, honestly, keeping us in this game longer than it has any business doing. This card has to switch to attack position, so he either needs to convert it or he needs to do something else. This is like kind of awkward. I, I think like this sideboard plan for him is not great. I think he should do something other than light mirror. Because like, what does this do? No, oh, now he's just dead on board. I just attack the Stratos, and then Honest. He's also dead on board because I can attack the Naga. I have two um, lethal attackers. That's cool. But yeah, Light Mirror's not enough. These cards are pretty bad. Uh, and Christia doesn't get negated by Light Mirror because it's continuous, so. Yeah, GG's. GG's. Good stuff. Love the draw traps. Um, the deck is awesome. I think that it's obviously very easy to showcase it versus a non-deck, but we're on to the next round. So, there you go. Let's see what's up next. Let's see what's up next. Who is our next match? The winner of Potato versus BZVK. So, let's find them. Is this him? I don't even know. I think game three. I don't even know what game they're in. This is not them. This can't be them. What is their DB? <coughs> Guess we're gonna find out. I tagged them on Discord. In the meantime, if you want to play in a big Edison tournament, you want to play a deck like this, come to RBT Maryland, August 3rd, or come to um, RBT New York. Signups are in the description below. Make sure you sign up in advance. These tournaments will sell out. Um, it's just the way they get. It's just, it's just the way they go. It's just high demand for the competitive Edison events, basically. A lot of high demand. Yeah, so I think the big change here is like, you could get like another Christia or like another Soul of Purity in the, in the main over the Call of the Haunted. I think that that's probably a fine change. Because I've found that Call of the Haunted is like, it's basically like Christia number four, but it's not necessarily better than Christia number three always. Sometimes it is, but not always. Like It's like arguably like faster than Christia because you can like just bring back a milled Christia that got milled turn one. And that can sometimes cheese. But it's like weirdly vulnerable, and then if it gets Typhoon, Christia gets it draw locks you, and like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Call of Honor can also bring back like Lila and stuff before you push, which is cool, or it can bring back like a uh, Plague to make a single play or something like that. It's not just Christia that it can bring back, um, but I think like, I think it might be like if look just looking at this deck, I think it might be worse than having the third Christia. Plus it kind of improves your mills to have that one less purple card. Um, and it improves your draws off the draw traps. Like I rarely want to set Call of the Haunted with the draw trap because then it just gives my opponent like 50-50 odds. Um, when I'd rather just give them zero odds and then just get plus one and then late game be able to stick my beckoning. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's also nice like sometimes your opponent will like waste Rikos to try and play through your back row and then like just fucking lose. They'll just fucking lose, because then they don't have the, uh, um, they don't have the thing. What is it? They don't have the out to Christia. Alright, we're playing against Potato next, and his dueling book name is The Spud, which makes sense. <laughs> Hilariously enough. Alright, we've got that boy. 
the web cap form. You go with paper. I'll just do it again. I don't even care. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, getting to go first twice. Very nice. I like this deck. I think it's good. I just think it's fun and strong. And this hand looks, even though that we've drawn two garnets, very good. I'm going to charge for Gareth. Unless I mill Gareth. Yeah, charge for Gareth. It's the worst one, so it's the one you want to discard to recharge. Charge, recharge, pitch Gareth, draw two, mill two. We're not going to mill a wolf, sadly. How many fairies do we have? One. All right, well, this is pretty good here. This is not very good here. I'm trying to think if it's worth milling more. We already have four names. It might be best to set Arcus, set Legacy, and pass. Um, Arcus is harder to get over in defense position, and he might attack into it and take damage, which could play into what our game is trying to do. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, dude. They never expect it. People never expect them to stack. I just got a free plus one. That's the freest plus one. Now my beckoning is safe, and I've got two insane targets. He doesn't have Typhoon. It's literally the perfect deck to play these cards in. I don't I don't know what like it cannot get more perfect than that. And this is exactly what I'm, oh dude, everything is everything is correct. Everything is correct now. I've I'm I've broken I've broken the system. I've broken it. I just win now. I just win. He was okay trading this with the Ryko. Little did he know it's not Ryko. Okay. He's playing Sabres, which makes sense, because uh Totagon just got first place with Saber, so he might be playing Totagon's list. He's got level limit area B. That is annoying, but... No, that's just annoying. Huh. How do we beat this shit? That is fucking annoying. Huh. Well, I want a beckoning... I think JD is how we beat it. So I want a beckoning, but I'm not sure if I want to discard my Sopal. I think I want to put Sopal into play. But then if I put Sopal into play, I don't have enough targets to discard my hand to beckoning. Unless I also summon Lila. And if I summon Lila, then it gives him like lots of opportunities to do shit. So I think what I'm gonna do is set Cold Wave, set beckoning. Then I'm going to pass and we can always get the sopel back with the beckoning so yeah i think what we're gonna get back is gonna be lumina jd christia sopel uh yeah mil two that's right yep okay and he's looking at the draw traps like maybe i shouldn't heavy storm here or whatever if you heavy storms it gets rid of the level limit which is nice he still can't get over the arcus and he can't like brain control it to move it out of the way there's an emerse plate summon that is okay if he makes a synchro, this does not work. Okay, so this is gonna target one, two, and just those two. He could target his own level limit here. Yeah, okay, so he's not going to. I'm gonna chain, discard my hand. Maybe, yeah, it's gotta be, maybe it's Ryko actually. Either way, I for sure want Christia, JD. Is it Ryko? Let's see, we have four names. It's probably gotta be, it could be Gareth too, just to like get somewhere with the mills. Let's go Ryko and Gareth. Interesting Hyunlei choice. I actually wouldn't have made that play, but he must have another Saber name to proc the Fall Troll. Otherwise, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, if I'm going to be 1000 emoji with you guys. And we're not at risk of getting OTK because level limit's still in play. And we have Necro Garner in Grave too, so it's pretty cool. What does Plague do for us here? 
could plague into Mistworm with Gareth and then win that way with JD. Yeah, I think that that's the best play. So we're going to go... He could have Fiendish Chain for Mistworm. If he's playing Todion's list, it plays Fiendish Chain. He could also have Book for Plague, but that I don't really care too much about. So if he has Book for Plague, it's best to use Gareth here. Um, yeah, so summon Gareth first, Plague second. Plague, Stack, Lila, it's our worst card. Actually, Christia might have been our worst card. But I think this is fine. Actually, we give him back his back row. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Do we bounce the back row in the high on lay and leave the level limit to blow it up? Well, only one way forward. Mistworm, uh, target Hanley, set back row, and leave. Le and do I leave level? Yeah, leave level limit. It's up to three, right? He's gonna chain Gotham's emergency call. Perfect, that's kind of exactly what I wanted. He'll bring out his guys, and then we can drop JD and blow up the field. He knows we have JD, so it was pretty stupid for him to chain it. Um, and I can pay a thousand here. Blow up the fields. We have Necrogar now to protect JD. And he gets Fall Troll, but he better have like Cat Fall Troll. Otherwise he's not getting anywhere. He might have cat though, just given the way he's played. That level limit was really annoying. It's such a good card. Um, this matchup is tough. I, it's a good thing I reviewed it last night with Totagon in yesterday's video. So make sure you tune in to check that out. Another Christia, great. Not really exactly what I wanted, but I just blow it up. Whatever it is. Cool. Attack for 3k. Yeah, he should have just kept the Gotham's. He should have just let it get bounced. But he got greedy. He knew I had JD because I beckoned it. Now our fairy count is getting better. We have three fairies. We need one more to get Christy alive. It's so unlikely to mill only one off four, though. That being said, I think we just win. I probably should have milled the Christia instead of the Lila. That was pretty stupid. Oh, this is good. I mean, this gets him, uh, uh, I think. I think I should necro this. Yeah, he doesn't have plays. Q passes the turn. We draw Herald. Oh, now we win. We just summon Herald. JD, pay a thousand, blow up the field. Special Christia, yep. Cool. So, tough matchup, I think. Actually, very tough matchup. Go oh, Christia line, though. Two way. Um, Christia's gonna be MVP. Vortex, pretty important. Book is pretty important. I think this is a really hard matchup. Typhoon is pretty important. This guy would be good if he didn't just get attacked over by everything. Solemn is probably good. Dinah's probably good too. These cards are questionable, but they don't get hand raped, which is kind of nice. Man, this matchup is hard. I think you side out a Raikou, it's pretty bad. Uh, we have a lot of cards we want to bring in. Call of the Haunted seems good. Cold Wave seems bad because he can do his combos without back row. Gores is terrible. Sopal is pretty mid. It's like mediocre. Card Trooper is pretty mediocre. I like to Arcus there. The Wolf seems kind of useless. Um, Honest doesn't seem great. I'm going to side one out. 
for the Christia. That's just a matter if we want the Dinas. I think they're a little bit better than like Jog. But he can just attack over this, so I don't like it. If we bring it in, we have to bring in Mirror Force too. It's like, we have to cut three of these just to bring in this. I don't like that. I just really don't. I think cutting Honest might be weird. Maybe we're supposed to cut two Honest. And then like two Jog. I don't know about the Dinos, but we're going to try them here. This could be a Decree or Deshu matchup too. But Deshu because of the Gold Sarks. But... Alright, we drew Dino, so we're going to see if it's good. The Dino Judgment is like pretty solid. If he level limits, it's nice because it'll switch my guy to defense. That is annoying as shit. <laughs> I'll keep it real. That is really fucking annoying. Lila. Activate. Target. Cool. Yeah, I think I have to set both, unfortunately. And I do mill three. Maybe I need Wolf in his matchup. I forgot he sides Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Yeah, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer makes this really bad. Yeah, Honest definitely needs to be in to deal with this and Kaiku. Yeah, I forgot the siding pack. I literally just watched this yesterday, and he literally told me how to side, and I am, like, <laughs> punting. All right, take the Lila. I don't think he can switch this. I'm pretty sure he can't, um, but I could be wrong. Normal Arabellum. That's going to get solemned. Yo. Probably should normal the Arabellum first there. Uh, I set it out Gores, right? Yeah. All right? I'll just take 19. I was going to say I'd fire this, but I set it out Gores. End face, he can mill three if he wanted to. I think it's right two, but maybe he doesn't want to because he has the... Wait. So, yeah, you choose. Yep. Okay. Doesn't want to mill. Interesting. All right. I think I'm gonna legacy first, just to see what we can get into. Okay, uh, recharge has to be played. We don't have other options. Drill two, mill two. Very nice. Very, very nice situation here. Um, let's go ahead and Typhoon that shit. Get it out of here. Okay. This will force the Thunder King. I'm going to make, I think... Flamvel Urukizas. It's the least likely to come up. He's gonna negate. Perfect. Now we can't bring up the bring out the Urukizas with call because the summon was negated, so that's something we have to remember. It says no GD please one time. I wish. I wish, but we don't have a JD, unfortunately. How many fairies do we have? Just the one? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, set pass. We're not gonna die, I don't think, unless he has like catfall troll. Wait, we have a Dyna Engrave. Chain. Oh. Target Dyna. <laughs> Yo, let's fucking go. We're so back. Wait, I win. Oh, wait, I fucking win. All right, mill three. Very nice. Hit a fairy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit bull. Oh, that is so stupid. Maybe I can't cut call. It's too good with the dinos, dude. What a vanity. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, this deck is this deck is nice with it. Oh my god, it's 400. Alright, we're gonna take 900 here. Our trooper's gonna draw me a card. We drew Aaron. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll normal Aaron, I guess. 
You could book it. That'd be annoying. It doesn't really matter. All right. Attack Baron. He negates. Okay. One phase. One three. Oh, two fairies in a neck. We're gonna. We have four fairies now. Bro, it's so over for him. It's so over. It's so over. How do you get over the Dyna, bro? Dyna Necro is crazy here. What the fuck? Man, that's crazy. Hmm. I think we should win, honestly. This is so ridiculous. What a ridiculous set of cards. I'm so high on this deck list right now. It feels so good. Ragigura, okay. Uh, that works. Add back your Bellum, but this doesn't do anything. It just passes. Draw a legacy. Summon. What did he, he drew? He got back air bone. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just normal Dyna. Switch Dyna. And just attack with everything. Attack the full home. He takes 300. Attack the Regagura. He takes 1,000. Attack directly. He takes 1,200. In phase 2. Set Legacy, and Phase Mill 3. This is going to fuck up the Christias, but whatever, you know. Maybe we find our Sopal. Who knows? Or maybe he just can't beat this. Like, that's fine. He attacks over one of them, but then we just have another one. He attacked the wrong one, too. The one with the call can't be killed or can be killed by heavy storm and space typhoon, whereas the one without it can't. Oh my god. I'm him. Do I tribute set then JD for game? That's pretty hype. Let's just see what we get. I mean It is a flex. Either way, we should tribute summon. All right, attack. Hmm. Oh, we can't even JD for game because we have 800 life points. I guess we lose to brain control now. We lost to brain control anyway, though. He has to have brain control plus monster. Yeah, I guess that's true. Pass. Because we have Necro. Sleepy. Oh, book. No. No, do I lose? Oh, it's so fucking cringe. I think I lose now. Yeah, any any saber plus God MC call wins. Wait, maybe it doesn't. He doesn't have Ember Split. He can't make Bryonic. <laughs> Get on. Oh, he does have Ember Split. He just wins. What's he thinking about? Yeah, what are you thinking about? Just make Bryonic. What, what is the thought process here? <laughs> well, what are we thinking about? What is the what is the thought here? All right, I guess we do lose. We would have lost to that Book of Moon no matter what, though. So he did draw the out. Unfortunate. This matchup's crazy. Huh, I definitely sided wrong. Oh god, oh god. Make Bryonic. This isn't, this isn't hard. What? What is this play? Just make Bryonic. What? What? I guess he can like, make... Gotems. What? 
you can make Gotham's and still be alive. What? <laughs> oh man. You can make Gotham's and still be alive. <laughs> I literally don't. <laughs> can't pay for JD. He says, I want to scoop after not going prior there in game. I literally can't win there. I literally lose to Gotham's. I literally lose to Gotham's, but okay. I <sighs> should have had a game three, but alas, here we are. I definitely miss sighted. Sighting out honest was kind of stupid. I figured like you don't want to hold cards because he like hand rips you. But I think it's just too important to get over his floodgate guys. And I know how they sideboard. Anyway. 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 GG's, I guess. That's whack. I wish we would have gotten a full match. Um, but we played the winner of the other bracket, which is going to be... I don't know who. Let's see who won between Gappy and... Um, looks like Gappy didn't win because he's not playing right now. I think Alpha might have won. What the fuck? Why is it not letting me search? Anyway, these are the opponents. You got Soji versus um, Rolo Master. I don't know if this is the latter game or what this is, but. No, it's not. Okay. So it looks like Soji is going to be our opponent, I believe. He's playing Hero Frogs. Cool. Um, should be an easy matchup, but what do I know? Maybe we don't draw Christia. Who knows? We have the Dinos, though. Oh, no. Gappy beat him. Oh, okay. I guess we're uh, playing against Gappy. Good luck. Have fun. The other bracket had already concluded. Never mind. We're playing against whatever Gappy's playing, which is usually Quick Draw. Um, rock lose to paper okay yeah yeah all right all right all right sounds good does work what can i say i can't complain since i know you want christy i will tell you i'm on you lol <laughs> Are you really? Eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm not going to miss an opportunity to Aaron somebody. But I want to recharge first. It doesn't matter if I recharge Lumina. If I recharge Aaron, I'm going to have to pitch to Lumina, which I don't really want to do with this hand. I like all of the cards in my hand. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Two options. We go Trooper, we go Aaron. I think Aaron is a little bit better if it's like Dandy or some shit. It's Ryko. That's a 50 50. It's a tough one. And he hit Dandelion. Ugly. Uh, I think. Hold up. I'm not sure if you shuffle first before resolving Raiko. I I think you might shuffle first. I need to double check this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Okay, here's the ruling. Monk says specifically then there wait what no no that's not uh how does this work how does this work how does it work just place back in there Aaron's effect activates after the monster's flip faced up but before damage calculation solve normal later in the damage step right so the Ryko flips and destroys Aaron the back to the right no 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 your understanding is wrong face down monsters are flip faced up what the fuck is going on someone explain this shit Ryko would be returned to the deck when Aaron's effect resolved damage calculation would not what the fuck? Then Raiko's effect would activate. Yes. Yeah. Raiko is returned 
then mill, then destroy plus mill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Rolling can be found here. I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Get the fuck out of here. Dandy mill. He's going to mill dandy anyway. Watch. It's okay. You will mill dandy anyway. Pretty shuffle. Yeah. He says thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. All right, watch this. We're going to get him with legacy into gores. He's going to go heavy storm, and I'm going to chain legacy. I'm checking my grave to make it look like I have call or beckoning. I don't. Debris dragon. Oh, sure. Say less. This is this is exactly what I wanted. Take 300. Special summon Jaws. We can do make an iron chain like okay, lol. Oh, what are we doing? Gore's token. Cool. He is gonna synchro. If he didn't synchro, it would signify that he has a way to stop the Gore's attacking. Interesting choice. We're gonna go card trooper now. Even though it's better to get the Jane in play, this plays better into sweepers, so. L3, hit plague, very nice. Battle days, card trooper attacks. Let's see the mirror force, yep. Draw a card, find JD, very nice. And we have four names, so say less. JD plus Herald seems broken. Pay a thousand, love the field. Set Legacy and phase mill four. Hopefully mill Necrogardena. Nope, but we did hit our one of Wolf. Very nice. <laughs> Super busted. <laughs> this deck is dumb. Oh god. Brain control. Target JD. Oh no, whatever shall we do? He pays a thousand. I think we just chain Legacy. I think we just let him do this. And get our um, keep our herald. I think herald stops him from OTKing us. Mayfist. He's gonna sack main phase one. Very very interesting choice. Um, how many fairies do we have? We have two. I think we should herald this in case we draw Christia. Yeah, this puts us to four fairies. One time for the fans, Christy off the top. <laughs> I'm him. I'm him. What can I say? Special. Cry back honest. I don't think there's a reason to recharge away the Jane, but yeah, he's probably out of outs, so let's go. 28. Fast turn. That was so busted. There was probably a lethal line that involved Bionic. Like, go. Oh, nah, there wasn't. Mirror Force is gone, so. Tarantula is also gone. It's like D Prison, bottomless. Ryko still outs this. He probably plays Ryko. <sighs> Alright. There's the bottomless, let's attack. It's hamster, perfect. I think maybe he should let the Lila resolve. And then if he gets, like hope we mill too many fairies and then uh, if he finds Raiko, he can out the Christia permanently. Cause like as it stands, yeah, he just loses on board to be honest that he knows about. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, the draw traps were great. 
Um, obviously, digging towards our Christia was great. The fucking saving the Herald of Orange Light there was great. The draw trap baiting the brain control. Oh my god, it was amazing. These were so good, that game. I don't even know. It's just fucking amazing. Christia time. It's Christia time, baby. That stupid Mephist card. I swear to god, I have PTSD from that stupid Mephist card. It, like, <laughs> wrecked me last time. Card scares the shit out of me. I'm like, I want to side in Mirror Forge just for fucking Mephist. Every time he, like, hits me with that card, I'm like, damn, is this card real? Is this card legit? I mean, he's in the finals, like, every single time, so maybe it's legit. <laughs> maybe the Mephist card is crazy with it. Uh, I don't think Gores is that good. He plays around it really well. I'm going to swap it for Christia. Dinah is okay. Vortex is okay. Mirror Force is okay. Dust Shoot is okay. I think Dinah is just, like pretty catch-all good i wonder if he sides light mirror he's playing heroes man this matchup is gonna be hard i don't like cold wave I side it out a lot i don't know why i just do i don't know about plague in this matchup but it's just another good mill i guess honest seem kind of mid i have a lot of mid cards in this matchup like jane is mid honest is mid uh, like Raiko and Lila aren't great into Mephist. I don't think we need to change much though until I see more of his deck. If he's playing Miracle Fusion, Future Fusion, that sort of stuff, then we're gonna change things, I guess. That sounds good. We've got Christia, so it's eventually gonna happen, right? Probably just set Raiko pass. He might have Evil Guy into Mephist. That would be really fucking annoying. Or Evil Guy into Caius is really annoying too. Alright, I don't even care if it's chainable. Just do it. Chain Tarantula. Level 3. Oh my god. It's so broken. It's so broken. When you play one, you always hit it. When you play one, you always hit it. We didn't hit any fairies though, which is kind of annoying. But like, who cares? I have... Celestia, Herald, whatever. I think I'm just gonna pass. I don't know. What could he do? This is why I don't like Call that much. It's like, if it was a second Christia here, it'd be pretty good. But obviously, it was really good with the Dinos the last game. What a fucking draw, dude. That is a crazy draw. I think it's Aaron still, though. As weird as it sounds, because it could be dandy. Ryko, Pop Wolf, okay. Shuffle then mill, yeah, yeah, yeah. He milled Ryko, Kaios, Bottomless, okay. Is there any reason to set the call here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we just mill three. Nice, we hit a fairy. So we have one towards R4 for Christia. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Um, I'll herald this. You view in my graveyard, you're activating. I guess that's a reason to set call question mark. Maybe I should side out Necro. That was an insane Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, by the way. That was really good. I know this motherfucker plays Chaos Sorcerer. Alright, out my Dyna. Nope, no outs, okay. Set call pass. Very nice. No Dyna out. Love to see it. Attack for 12. Tarantula's gone, so I feel pretty comfortable setting Raiko. New back row. Set monster. Come on now. Come on now. Target the monster. Three. This is why Dinah's crazy. Is have this shit, and you're just like, all right. 
fucking go off. He does play Mirror Force. Is it Switch Dyna attack with Arcus Ryko? Sure. Battle phase. That's why he can't prison me either. And phase mill two. Still no fourth fairy. Huh. I mean, we do play less fairies, so it's like understandable. Yeah, it's just just game, dude. It's just game. Air Force, he's forced to do it. No pun intended. Same phase two. Part is set Necroguard now. Pass. I'm gonna Lila break one of the new ones. I think is the plan. <coughs> Alright, he's letting it resolve. Yeah, let's break that guy. I think it's deep prison. Oh, it's trap stone. Whatever. Huh. Probably just poke with Necrogar now, actually. Yeah, just keep it going. Now we have Christia on grave, so if he kills a dino, we can call Christia. Easy clap. Easy clap. Brain control. Don't love that for me. All right. The Dyna is still in play. Kill Lila, sure. Main phase two. This is where things get interesting. How do you get rid of the Dyna? You have Caius, do you have a Mephist? A Vanity's Fiend. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, that's annoying. I don't know if we have outs besides Honest, who I think I cited out, question mark? No, I didn't cite out Honest, we have Honest. I guess, that's fine. And we have a lot of time, so. Chill. Jane. Hmm. Two honest left in deck. No beckoning left. One JD left. Ugh. If we build it honest, it's so bad. But I think we have to do it. I think we have to do it. Draw two. Two. Oh, that's gross. No targets. All right, we'll concede. That was whack. Um, yeah, I didn't side for for vanities. Maybe I should have just waited a turn. Yeah, the dino went kind of crazy on him though. He's playing trap stun. I'm just gonna side out all my traps, bring in decrees, bring in vortex, book, and uh, honestly, dino. Yeah, seems good. Could also side dust shoot over back in because we're going first. Just get a free win. Maybe you saw him over back in. Or is it Solemn over, is it something else over Solemn? Is it like Typhoon? Or like, yeah, it could be Typhoon, Air Force. I think Solemn's good. We'll go Solemn Dust Shoot going first. And just max our vanities out. I'm gonna miss the draw traps though. They are really good. 
Sick opening hand. This hand's fucking gross. Draw two, draw two. Oh my god, I'm him. Uh, Lumina Wolf, or do we go set Raiko? I think we'll just go with normal Jane. Set, set, and phase mill two. And I do want to dust shoot him because I'm going to decree and phase. So. All right, what do we got? Future fusion, three draft cards, Caius, hamster. Uh, probably get rid of the hamster. Yeah, he sees Storm is gone, so he's probably just going to set three. Uh, he's going to Future Fusion, send Stratos, Dandelion. We kill both tokens, which win. So we need to make sure in Raiko the Future Fusion. Oh, he's going to send Alias. Alias is pretty good in this deck. I was testing it a lot more. It's like, I think it's the best option. All right, it's over. It's, oh my fucking god. It's not just over, it's Jover. It's not just over, it's Jover. Lumina. Activate. Pitch Raiko. Special Lila. Battle phase. Attack. Attack. 1800. Did I mill two M phase? I don't even remember. Um, M phase two. Break the future. Uh, he could top deck to Bree Dragon, I guess, would be the annoying thing. Mill three, mill three, mill two. Fast turn. We milled Gareth and Necro. Very nice. New back row. New monster set. All right. Well, it's just always win the game, right? We have an OTK, so might as well go for it. Celestia, um, GG's, GG's, yeah, GG's, GG's. Oh my God, Decree went crazy. 3-0 undefeated, first place. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, this is the list. If I was going to Nats, this is the list. This list fucks, it's so good. Anyway, smash like, subscribe. If you guys are looking for more competitive content, make sure uh, you are following because this is the number one place to get it, as you can clearly tell. See you guys in the next one. Peace.